Hello everyone. So in our previous session, we have discussed public relation, its nature and scope, functions, qualities and role of public relation officer. So in today's session, we are going to discuss process of PR in general and phase one of public relation in particular. So that, that is scanning the environment and identifying the problem. So we know that PR activities involves various stages depending upon the public relation problem. There may be some problem which may need extensive research plan and execution plan. But there may be few problems which can be handled very easily and very smoothly. So in general, there are four stages of public relation process. First one is defining the problem or we call it as scanning the environment. Second one is planning the communication program where extensive plan of uh, extensive plan of the program to be implemented has been done. And the third stage is executing the PR plan or we call it as implementation of program. And the fourth one and that is considered as very important phase that is evaluation of the plan which has been done. So let us take first phase of PR process that is scanning the environment and defining the problem. So scanning the environment means looking after what is happening in the organizational environment or we call it as situational analysis. So we know that PR is the area which is managing human climate for the benefit of organization. So here public relation officer must analyze and predict the issues which, which is very important for organization point of view. And here PRO analyzes the issues which is very relevant to the organization. And also he predicts the opportunities and the issues that will become potential to benefit of the organization. So here what is important is public relation officer must train himself to scan the environment which has direct and indirect influence on the organization. So here the target public must be observed keenly. Uh, since public publics, especially target public are influenced by the environment in which they live, peer must update himself the factor which influences the public's behavior. The suggested agenda for environment scan is, first of all, looking at target public. So it is considered as top priority on the scan list. So he has to study the internal and external public. He has to identify their taste and preferences, their expectation on the part of organization, etc. And then he also look at the expectation of target public. And the second area is socio-economic condition. So we know that the root cause of all social problem is, uh, is the root cause of all social problems originate from socio-economic condition of target public. Since public relation activity is attached to social responsibility activity of organization, so by looking at socio-economic condition of their target public, they can plan their PR activity, which can be benefited to target uh, public. The third one is political environment. It is considered as very, very important issue a public relation officer must look into. He should know the political environment of the nation. So it can help him to avoid any mistake in the process of developing a communication plan. And the fourth one is society, religion and culture. Public relation plan must not hurt anybody's sentiment. And we know that religion and cultural issues are considered as very sensitive issues. Studying cultural ethos of target public, which is pertinent enough to avoid any fitfall in addressing the issue. And the fourth one is changing psychographic features. From lifestyle to the vocabulary, behavior pattern to dress code, family values to individualistic preferences of the today's generation. So here change is known to be a constant factor. So they keep on changing. So looking at psychographic feature of uh, their target audience is very, very important because he cannot plan a program which is well suited for the people who are living in 1980s. He has to look at the taste and preference of today's generation. And the sixth one is media habits. We know that media always exo expose itself for the changing technology. So looking at Media habits of the people will help him to have a better media plan. 
so he should study what are the content they are consuming in which channel etc so that he can select a channel or medium which actually uh, reach right target people at right time so if a public relation officer have about discussed information on the hand so then identifying the pr problem is very easy task and it is in his fingertips so if you know the situation well then the half of the problem is solved so but any work begin with clear understanding of the problem so in pr activity it is wise to know what we are going to do and why and it is very logical to know the problem before starting any pr program so the problem must be well researched to arrive at correct definition of the problem so the attitude research public opinion research will help the pr uh, public relation officer in problem description so there are two kinds of research which are normally used by pr uh, public relation officer to identify the problem they are formal research and informal research formal research will help to get actual and factual data on the existing situation so here they can use formal interview method or they can have a pre set list of question which is conducted to read the mindscape of the public and they can have uh, also have a formal questionnaire administration maybe you know via mail it can also be conducted so for example recently colgate have conducted a survey of netizen to find out the taste and preference of their customers who are living in uh, virtual world and then mcdonald company one of the good brand is conducting regular customer surveys where they have all descriptive data on customers in india tata consultancy service have annual book of statistics with all demographic and psychographic details of their customers and uh, if you look at public broadcasters like air and dd they have a uh, descriptive data of their viewers and listeners so uh, in informal research the networking can networking can help a public relation officer a lot so where he can gather sensitive information uh, through grave wine and professional connectivity and professional networking is considered as a professional necessity of the public relation job so he can get some of the sensitive information from the friends inside and outside of the organization and then membership in professional organization they are the generally are considered as forum where uh, many people voice out their problem so where they speak openly so here also public relation officer can get a sensitive information so that can be uh, helpful for him to identify the problem and then in many organization and company they have told free phone calls wherein they can get sensitive information problems and uh, flaws in their service and uh, products etc and then there are consumer forums so uh, every day consumer forums they receive complaints from the customers so, so here also they can get sensitive information and then more importantly media tracking so in media so we have lots and lots of news items and articles so, uh, some articles may analyze the you know existing condition of economy and the business world so this can be a very good feedback to public relation officer so in conclusion the first phase of pr begin with the scanning of environment if one know the situation uh, in a better way then half of the problem is solved so here they assess the public mind mindset regularly and which is foremost job of public relation officer and if we have updated information on stakeholders attitude and opinion towards the organization the problem can be traced at its inception itself so with this i will conclude my session today and will meet again with another topic under public relation process thank you